hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Megan with her curse to plan today we're going to complete our paycheck budget number one for the month of June now if you missed our June monthly budget I will leave that link up above so that you can go back and watch it and also guys if you missed the budget pre-plan for the month of June I'll leave that link up above so that you can go back and watch it if you so desire now if you're liking this spread and any of the worksheets that you see I do have a new 12 month paycheck to paycheck budget journal in my Etsy shop and you do get your bill due stickers and you get payday stickers as well as a bonus. So if you want to check that out, I have my link down below to my Etsy shop. And so we are going to go ahead and get right into completing our paycheck budget number one for June. Now our paycheck budget number one is going to run us from June 1st all the way through the 18th. And this is an extra paycheck um, for Hubs, so he gets paid on Mondays. So we've got five Mondays in the month of June. So let's go ahead and get right into our paycheck budget. All right, guys, so I am at the paycheck budget worksheet for the month of June. And in the paycheck budget journal, I give you two different types of paycheck budgets and um, of course monthly budgets. Now they do have savings section and extra debt section. And then there's another um, set that you can use that has the savings and cash envelope section if you use cash envelopes. We don't use cash envelopes so we use the monthly budget and paycheck budget that only has the saving funds section on it. So I just wanted you to be aware that I do give you two different types of worksheets as part of your actual budget journal and any of the budget planner sets that I have in my Etsy shop. If you like that pop of color, I do have the uh, June all the way through October planner sets available and they are super cute guys so make sure you go and check those out as well all right so for paycheck budget number one and it is going to be from june the first all the way through june the 18th now we are planning for hubs income to be direct deposit is 1852 that's what we're planning and then for me we are planning 700 dollars to be deposited now we don't have any rollover from the month of May and I explained what we've done with our rollover in the May budget recap. If you missed that video, um, I'll link it up above. You can go back and check that out as well. All right, so let's go ahead and total. So 1852 plus 700, we are working with a total of 2552 as planned. All right, and then as far as our giving, for tithe and offering, we are looking at 385 as planned. Our expenses, we've got our mortgage and it is at 502. Our Netflix at 1599. I'm gonna speed the video along so I can get these numbers plugged in and I'll see you back in a bit.
finished totaling the expenditures and the savings and extra debt. Um, everything comes to $14.94.28 and that's without the buffer. So I'm going to go ahead in the plan section, go ahead and plug everything in. The giving at $385. I'm going to hold off on expenses because we need to see how much is the buffer. Savings, $480. And then the HELOC, we're planning $125. So $25.52 minus $385 minus, we'll say $14.94.28 for right now. Minus $480. And then minus $125. So that leaves $67.72. So we can just put that in as the buffer. And then we will have a total of expenditures. $67.72 plus $14.94.28. So our expenditures come to $15.62. And then we can put this here and we should get a zero base budget so at 25.52 minus 385 minus 1562 minus 480 and then minus 125 that's a zero base budget all right that looks really good so again this is a extra paycheck um, for hubs and Normally, the household um, is actually on like our paycheck budget number two, but the way the paycheck falls and the bills fall for um, this here time period, we've went ahead and put all of our savings in so we can make sure we have that money set aside um, during our paycheck budget number one. So when we do our paycheck budget number two, you won't see any of the savings or the extra debt. It'll just be our expenses. And um, as far as our expenses, of course, like I said, in the monthly budget, our pest control is due. And then, of course, our groceries, like I said, we have increased that. So we're just hoping that we can stay under budget um, again for the month of June. And then over here with the savings, the extra house emergency fund where you know this is a new line item so we are really excited to um, share our journey with you guys as far as us fully funding our emergency funds and again i will talk to you all more about that in a future video and so yeah everything right now is looking really good i'm happy that we are going to put a little bit more extra on the um, extra debt for heloc um, for a couple of months we set it at 50 dollars so we are easing that up a little bit so that is very exciting and so i am happy that we are at least you know trying to plan to make sure that we meet our goal and our goal is to have this paid off um, in 2020. all right guys so just let me know down in the comment section how is your paycheck budget number one looking so far all right guys i will see you later bye